on my youtube channel there are various categories of videos and one of those categories is the videos for phd students now some of these videos have the keyword phd in their title and therefore easy to find but there are some other videos which do not have this keyword and i noticed that students are asking the same questions again and again which i have already explained in one of my videos so therefore i decided to make this index video in this video i'm going to divide my phd related contents into four different categories category a is that if you have not started your phd category b is that when you have started your phd recently category c is that when you are in the middle of your phd and category d is when you are near the end of your phd and now in this video i am going to show you a highlight of my phd related contents so that whenever you need some advice on any particular topic you can start from this video and you can look at the relevant contents and we are starting right after this short break hello and welcome to my channel my name is tahir and if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video on this channel every tuesday and friday now in category a i would suggest that you watch three videos the first video title something like this doing phd ask yourself these five questions and in this video i explained that when you decided to do a phd you should ask yourself few critical questions the first is why are you doing phd there could be many reasons then there is another important question where do you see yourself in 10 years time and then how you are going to stay focused and motivated during your phd because if you look at the comments of my videos you will notice that many students they get frustrated immediately after they start the phd now the second video in this category you might be interested in is title something like this that ask your supervisor these five questions and this is also important to select a good supervisor for your phd not just anyone and in this video i have discussed some very important questions you should ask your potential phd supervisor now the third video in this category is seven signs of a bad phd supervisor now how will you get information about any potential phd supervisor so the best way is to ask some of his or her previous students or current students now in category b when you have recently started your phd the first video i would recommend you should watch is five things a phd student should do early in their career and in this video i explain few important things for you as a new phd student then there is a video about three subjects every phd student should take you might also uh, watch that video and when you start your phd you have to write your research proposal and you have to do a literature review i have a video about research proposal where i have explained i think eight elements of a research proposal and that video is also a very popular video and you should watch that video then there is a video about literature review how to do a literature review i explained a seven step process of doing it and this video is also a very popular video and very informative for new phd students then there is a video about five daily routines of a phd student to get phd in time and you might find this video useful then there is a video about five smart goals and smart means specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound goals so i have explained uh, five important goals uh, for a phd student so these are some of the videos in this category now for category c phd students who are in the middle of their phd there are few videos because at this stage you might be doing some experimentation or trying to write uh, some of your papers so the first video you might be interested in is how to write your first ieee paper then there is a video about how to make a questionnaire in some disciplines phd students uh, have to prepare some questionnaire then there is a video about data sets some free data sets of us and australia there is one video about data analysis the big picture where i explained what is data analysis and some of the related information 
then it is important for you to stay organized and productive for productivity there are many videos on my channel but there is one specific video for phd students which titles something like three tools for phd students to stay organized and productive and if you are at the end of your phd when you got introduced to my youtube channel there are few videos for you as well one video is about five bibliography mistakes and this video is really very important if you are finalizing your thesis in particular another video which is useful for you at this stage is four myths about phd and soc soc stands for significant original contribution to knowledge as a phd student you must understand this that how are you going to prove that you have done a significant original contribution to knowledge and you should be awarded a phd degree and this is what i have explained in this video and then there is a set of latex videos which might help you to write your thesis and there are many of them i cannot uh, describe all those videos here but they are mostly on writing thesis uh, using latex so this was an introduction to my phd related contents on my youtube channel i hope that this video will save you some time and you will be able to get the specific information you want if you always start from this video i am making this video in june of 2020 so any videos after this uh, will not be of course added into this but at least i have summarized some of my uh, contents to save you some time so i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time